my name is Teodora Beek. I'm from Hungary. I have been living in Okinawa for four years now and I have been learning Tahitian dance since 2007. I love to learn and experience culture through art. I feel my Hungarian roots the most when I'm singing the old songs. I feel the tropical colors of Okinawa the most as I'm learning the traditional textile dyeing craft. And the experience of Tahitian dancing energizes me and connects me with my femininity. It is a gift that today, through internet, we can learn so much so easily and so fast about cultures far away. But also, this can be very superficial and stay on the level of knowledge, but not bodily experience, which is a crucial part of a full life. This is why I decided to make this project. Three 15 minutes documentaries introducing Hungarians, Okinawans and Tahitians through one of their traditional arts, including interviews with local masters. The fourth part is where they meet. A Tahitian dance performance unfolds, the costumes made with Okinawan dyeing and the music is based on Hungarian folk songs. The working process involves artists, dancers, musicians from all around the world. As we work together, we'll learn from each other and experience the shared emotions of cultures far away. It is a deep and eye-opening dialogue for all the participants. But one part is missing and it is the part about Tahiti and the interview with the Tahitian dance master. To make this project authentic, the cameraman and me would need to go to Tahiti and film there. We are finished with shooting in Okinawa and Hungary. We flew to Hungary and drove for two days to Eastern Romania to film there. The cameraman and all the participants are putting their work into this project for free, for which I can be thankful enough. But this is where our resources end. We are raising money for the trip to Tahiti to be able to shoot there and finish the project. We need $5,000 for the transportation costs from Okinawa to Tahiti. We know it is a grandiose plan, but for the last two years we have been working on this idea a lot. And in honor to all the people who have invested their energy into it, we want to round it up properly. And we would be happy to share the fruits of this work with our contributors. We have a great cameraman, so we will send you some of his amazing postcards, and thus you can get a glimpse into the fairy tale like land and life of Hungarians in Romania, subtropical and colorful Okinawa, and, hopefully, the tropical beauty of Tahiti as well. We are willing to share the soundtrack of our project too, Hungarian folk melodies mixed by a Hawaiian guitarist. <laughs> So I am willing to send you a handmade piece. Or, as the project involves dyeing, I am willing to hand paint the textiles with the same design you can see on the costumes of the project. We are working in many ways, doing enamel workshops, selling accessories, translating, etc. To make this dream come true. So even if we don't reach our goal of $5,000, we are willing to use what we could raise, plus our own resources, and still go to Tahiti. If we cannot afford a trip at all, we are willing to give the money we have raised to associations which work for the preservation of minority cultures in Okinawa and Romania. There are three things we would like to show with this project. One, go for the experience. We live in the age of virtual realities, but there is nothing that can substitute real-life encounters and making art together. I want this work to be an inspiration for people for sharing. Two, don't be afraid to mix. Life is a big playground, but we tend to forget this as we grow up. We become specialists in one field and forget about the rest of the possibilities. In this work, I mix dance, painting and music using video and bring together cultures and traditions that might seem far away from one another at first. I hope this will inspire people to be free to experiment with different cultures and fields of art. Three, the richness of minority cultures. The three cultures the project is focusing on are minorities on the verge of extinction. Many times they think they are less than others as minority, sometimes living in economically less developed circumstances. This project is willing to address people worldwide to raise awareness about these cultures and their arts and is also willing to address the minorities themselves, showing them respect and making them proud for possessing treasures no one else in the world has. Even if you can't contribute, it doesn't mean you cannot help. If you like our idea, 
please pass the word on. Tell it to your friends. Feel free to use the share tools on the Indiegogo website. Thank you for your time and have a good day.